D flip flop is the third type of flip flop. D flip flop means data flip flop or delay flip flop. So here in this uh, circuit diagram, we are using a NOT gate with this data input. So if we invert the input here, so if we provide one means, here we are getting zero, and if we are putting zero means, here we are getting one as a output. Okay. So the same procedure like the of SR flip flop. So this construction is similar to that of SR flip flop. And instead of using two separate inputs, S and R, here we are using only one input and inverting that input. So we get two inputs, one here and the another one here. So remaining connections, everything is similar to that of SR flip flop. Okay? And we are using a clock pulse here. We are getting output and that inverted output. So let's come back to the function table. So in this function table, we can understand that for the input 0, we are getting directly that output here and then the, whenever the input is 1 means we are getting the output as 1 okay so in the characteristics table you can see that so here also the same combinations so 0 and 1 so whenever the input is 0 means we have two present states 0 and 1 and for when the data input is 1 means we are having two combinations 0 and 1 so that's what they have implemented here so whenever it is for 0 there are two conditions 0 and 1 and for 1 there are two conditions 0 and 1 ok so whenever the data is 0 means we are getting the output 0 ok so whenever the data is 1 means it does not depend on the present state just directly comes whatever in the data so it is the simplest used method ok whenever we need a simple memory logic means at that time we can use this D flip flop ok then comes the characteristic equation n of simplification so qn and this data after simplifying we are getting the qn plus 1 the next state that is equal to dn so whatever that we provide in the data that we can get in that next state ok then come to the excitation table so for the separate uh, present state and next state we are getting the inputs so for 0 0 it is 0 then for 0 1 we are getting 1 and for 1 0 so 1 0 we are getting the input 0 then for 1 1 we are getting the input as 1 ok so this is a simple excitation table of the deep flip flop then comes the state diagram so in this state diagram we are having 0 the state 0 to 0 at that time it is moving from 0 to 0 means the input that is 0 and for 0 to 1 the input is 1 then 1 to 0 ok so this is 0 to 1 at the time it is 1 when the when it comes from state 1 to state 0 means then the input is 0 then 1 to 1 the condition present state is 1 when the next state is 1 1 to 1 means it is 1 so this is the simplification of state diagram so this is how the d flip flop is working toggle flip flop which we call it as T flip flop here uh, we are providing the toggle input here and this is the clock pulse we are getting output Q and the inverted output Q1 ok so the toggle, of, uh, toggle flip flop it is a modified version of this uh, JK flip flop so here it is similar to the top JK flip flop but uh, only one thing is that uh, instead of separate inputs J and K we are using the common input T ok so the function of this toggle flip flop is mentioned here this is the function table so for the input equal to 0 means we are getting the present state as the next state ok and when the input is 1 means we get the complement of the present state this is how the output is derived ok so whenever the input is 0 means whatever the condition that is in the present state comes directly to the next state when the input is 1 means whatever is in the present state its complement will come ok so the toggle flip flop helps in uh, frequency divider circuits sub registers and the counters ok and this is a characteristics table as we already mentioned it is having uh, input 0 and 1 so for this we are having two states present states 0 and 1 and for here also 0 and 1 so that's what they have mentioned ok so for 0 we are having two present states 0 and 1 and for 1 we are having two present states 0 and 1 ok so whenever the input is 0 means so whatever in the present state comes directly to the next state ok so that's why whenever the input is 0 
here in the present state 0 comes directly here input state is 0 whenever the present state is 1 means it comes directly here ok and the condition of 1 when the input is 1 means whatever in the present state the value gets complemented in the next state so here 0 is complemented here and here 1 is complemented here as 0 ok so now from the Katsuri equation we have to define the K map. So this is the K map simplification. So Q and here and T here. Okay. So we group this as separate one and this as separate one and the equation is written here. So Q and bar T plus T bar Q n. Now come to the excitation table. So in this excitation table we are grouping the present state and next state with the T flip flop input. Okay. So first 0, 0. Okay, for the condition 0, 0, that we put this 0 here and for 0, 1, the input is 1 and for 1, 0, and for 1, 0, the input is 1 and for 1, 1, the input is 0. Okay, so this is how the excitation table has been drawn. So with the help of present state and next state, we are writing the flip-flop inputs. And finally, the state diagram. So for state diagram, 0, and it is 0 to 0 means, so this is the condition at that time, the input is 0 and when 0 to 1, so this is the condition 0 to 1, 0 to 1 means the input is 1 and then 1 to 0, so this is 1 to 0, for 1 to 0 it is 1 and then 1 to 1, the input is 0, okay, so this is the state diagram for the T flip flop, so this is toggle flip flop, so this is the working of the toggle flip flop. Thank you for watching the video.